Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the Shadow Pup Gaming channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Today, we're going to be solving a small problem that Roblox users have been running into, and that is the small checkbox that makes you go into Roblox instantly every single time instead of having to hit the open Roblox button disappearing. Now, <clears throat> the disappearing of this button, this little checkbox, happens after the Google Chrome 73 update and that is due to Google Chrome security policies. They have prompted everyone to have to click the button to open Roblox every single time. Now Google Chrome is being evil but we have found a way to get around it after the Google Chrome 80 update which adds a D word value you can add into Windows Registry Editor and what we can do there is we can modify and override Google Chrome's uh, generic default settings to get the checkbox back so you can join a Roblox game instantly every single time. <coughs> and now the process to do this is quite simple actually. What we're going to first do is go ahead and in the search bar here type in the word run. Now we want to open this app that says run and we're going to type into the box the words reg edit r-e-g E-D-I-T. Doesn't matter if I doesn't matter if you type it in, in capitals or lowercase. Um, I just had typed it in, in caps because I accidentally hit the caps lock on my keyboard. But after that, go ahead and press OK. And you're, you're gonna get this little pop-up here. Go ahead and press yes. And now you're gonna get into this whole big menu here. Now I'm gonna collapse all of this uh, from when I did it uh, at first so you get a better understanding. Of where we're going so first we want to locate the word that says h key underscore local underscore machine and we want to expand the little arrow next to it now after that go ahead and go down to the word software and expand the little arrow next to that one and now we want to go to uh, policies now down here you see the word policies expand this and what I'm actually gonna do real quick is I'm going to delete this one that says Google because <coughs> And because the only reason why I did that is because by default that Google folder does not exist or at least in my case when I did it it did not exist so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and add the Google folder back and I'm gonna show you guys how to create the Google folder so <clears throat> make sure you guys are selected on the word policies and not selected on the word Microsoft because we don't want to create the Google folder inside of Microsoft we want to create it inside of the word policies so now at the top, go ahead and press edit, press new, and press the word key. And you're going to see this thing that pops up, it's highlighted in blue. Um, <clears throat> if you accidentally click anywhere on the screen, it'll be no longer highlighted and you can't change the name. And uh, just simply right click if you accidentally did that and press rename and you get the blue back and you can change the name again. So for the first one, we want to name this one Google and just go ahead and press enter, that'll save the name. Now we have a folder that is named Google. And now what we want to do after this is that we want to right click on Google, make sure your blue box, little blue highlight is selected on Google. And we want to create another key inside of Google. And we're going to name this one Chrome <clears throat> and press enter. Now make sure your blue little highlight is selected on Chrome and we're going to press edit again. And we want to create a new D word value. <clears throat> and now we want to name this D word value something very specific that Chrome will recognize so it will bring back the checkbox and what we're gonna paste in here is this thing and this I will put in the description down below for you guys to copy and paste but <clears throat> what this basically does is it brings back the checkbox and uh, yeah that's all it does it brings back the checkbox so uh, what happened was after Google Chrome update version 73, they removed this thing and it was no longer there. And every time you join the Roblox game, you had to press the button to open Roblox. But now they uh, brought it back in version 79. They brought back a little secret update and uh, they have brought back this option for you to go in and change it. Uh, what we want to do is we want to copy this and uh, we want to paste it as our name. And uh, as you can see down here, it tells you where to paste it in the uh, Windows registry 
and it says this policy controls whether or not the always open checkbox is shown on external protocol launch confirmation prompts <clears throat> and that's the box that we want to get back so here we go back in the d word value we're going to right click on this and press rename and uh, we're going to name it that whole thing that we just copied from uh, the google documentations and go ahead and press enter now after this right click on this and uh, go ahead and press modify and make the value data one instead of zero uh, and one meaning true zero meaning false binary numbers etc and go ahead and press ok after you've made the value data one and you can go ahead and exit out of windows registry editor now what we want to do after that is we need to restart chrome and a lot of you guys may just go ahead and press the X mark but please don't do that because this will not completely shut down Google Chrome as Google Chrome still runs in the background of your PC now in order to solve that problem what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the settings of Google Chrome and in the settings we're just gonna type in the word background and see her down <clears throat> see down here you're gonna get this option that says continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed you want to make sure that this is turned off like in my screen right here if this is turned on make sure you turn it off so Google Chrome does not run in the background when you're when you try to close Google Chrome and uh, <clears throat> it won't be able to successfully reboot if it's still running in the background obviously so make sure that is turned off and you can close out of settings and you can close out of Google Chrome completely and go ahead and reboot Google Chrome. Now after you go ahead and relaunch Google Chrome, try to play any Roblox game and you should get the little checkbox. Um, obviously since I've already done this before, <clears throat> you can't see the checkbox on my screen, um, but you can see that it has worked because when I do go ahead and try to play a Roblox game and press the play button, you can see that I get into the game without having to click the open Roblox button that pops up on Google Chrome. That is going to be it for me today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I will try to answer and help every single one of you guys as much as possible. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on the bell icon to make sure you get notified of all our future uploads, videos, and live streams. I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.